Talk Sports Man in the Know, Warren Horton. Brought to you by Ideal Boilers. Reliable boilers complete with a seven-year warranty. Um, let's move on to uh, Schneidling then. Um, and uh, what's the latest? Not a that? happy man, is he? <laughs> we, 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 we've seen last night the, the, the tweet, six-year six year journey, and look what's happened now. Not happy. Wants to go, to, wants to move, wants to go to Spurs, it seems like. Hasn't handed in a formal transfer request. We know that there were some frank and open and honest exchanges between him, his representatives and the club yesterday. One place he doesn't look like he will be going if he does leave Southampton is Arsenal. My understanding is he's not a target for them. And neither is Shakhtar Donetsk attacker Douglas Costa as well. Not on their list. He's one of the Brazilians who doesn't really want to go back to the Ukraine due to the unrest in that part of the world. But just to reiterate, Morgan Snyderlin, yes, we know Spurs are interested in Not sure about Liverpool. Liverpool don't seem to be a nor Arsenal. He'll end up at Tottenham. It he does seem that or way. Or Arsenal. I mean, there's still a possibility. No, he, 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 at this moment in time, he's not on their list. Is that right? He's not okay. on Arsenal's list at this moment in time. I think Despite Arsenal, what the chairman Arsenal look says, like they're trying to move players on at the moment. If mm. they do move some players on, free up some money, I think they'll, they may well, live to bring some money You had a view on in. Lukaku, then, as someone who, who played professional football. Someone like Schneidlin, where he's seen a lot of players go, and then the line has been drawn in the sand, and he's the one that, that isn't allowed He'll to, along with Rodriguez. I mean, there, were, there were players last season... Do you have well, any sympathy, or should he be shown a bit of loyalty? I, I, let's, if he wants to move, that's entirely up to him. All, from, all I'm saying is, if you're a Southampton player, you're looking at the... You're looking at that change room, what what the change room that was there in May, and the change room potentially that will be there in set in in August. And you're thinking to yourself, as a senior player, what the hell is going on here? Mm. You know, you'll have Jay Rodriguez coming back, and he'll be shaking hands with his new teammates, saying, "Hello, I'm Jay." You know, and they'll probably think he's a new signing because they haven't seen him. Mm. So you've got to look at him from a perspective where the players that were there did so well, got got to eighth in the Premier League last season. There were con- all those players who have left or want to leave had concerns at the in the in the second half of last season towards the end. Is my manager staying? Are my teammates going to be staying? And if you're a player of that calibre, and one, you're one of the players who've helped Southampton get to where they are, you don't want to be last out the door. That is a fact. You do not want to be last out the door. So um, let's move on to uh, a possible Chelsea signing, Miranda. Yeah, a lot of talk at the start of the window before the World Cup that he could have been on his way to Manchester United or Barcelona. A £24 million release clause as well. Now, it seems like there are reports in Spain that Chelsea have lodged a £20 million bid for him. He was a huge part of what um, Atletico Madrid did last season. Won the league, got to the Champions League final. And again, you, it's you know sim- on a smaller scale to what's happened at, at Southampton. They've seen some of their best players go. Two of them to to, to Chelsea already. So maybe Miranda, the centre half, could be the third addition from Atletico Madrid to Chelsea. We'll have to wait and see. Mm-hmm. Okay, seems unlikely that one. I think. But we'll, do you, we'll do you see. need another centre half? No. Um, well, you've just got, <clears> you just signed that from from France, Kurt Zuma. Zuma. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Gary Cahill as well. Ivanovic can play there as well. You've Terry. got John Terry. So. Chelsea seems to be well blessed already with centre halves or players who can play there. Christians and these well, yeah. fullback, mm. and you've got young Callas who's gone on loan to is it Hamburg, who had that very good game against Liverpool. So you seem pretty well blessed. Seems unlikely that, yeah. that one, but uh, yeah, um, uh, Val Buena. Uh, you, we talked about him yesterday. Yeah, where, QPR Marseille. and West Ham were interested. In, now he's he's supposed to be an offered an eight million pound salary over three years as well. Now Dinamo Moscow seems to have stepped in and shot and given him the sort of terms they want as well, but. Again, good player, 29 years old, and he's available for, in terms of a transfer fee, relatively cheaper than Dynamo. Um, Dynamo Moscow seems to have agreed terms with him, so it looks like he could be on his way to, to Russian football. OK, have we got any more? Um, yes, Fellaini. Mar- oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, that's we, right. Again, Aaron Fellaini. The man who's caused all the trouble over the last hour as well. Talk of him going to Napoli. Now, my understanding is his representatives did meet Napoli in, um, in, in Brussels within the last month or so. It's just a case of his big wages. Obviously, he got that move from Everton to Manchester United on huge money, £27.5 million. Clearly hasn't happened for him under David Moyes. You know, whenever you think of David Moyes' as you at Manchester United, the next person you think of, unfortunately for him, is Marwan Fellaini. Yeah, because mm. he was... He was Van Gaal doesn't, doesn't fancy him, does I, You it? just look at the mm. way... Even, even before David Moyes came in and he brought in... No, even when Moyes came in and brought in Fellaini, you always wondered exactly where he would fit in because United want to transfer that ball quickly from back to front through their midfield, and you don't seem he doesn't seem the sort of player that 
would actually work in that system. He actually had some of his better performances for United playing further up the pitch, but yeah, yeah. not the sort of player that they seem to want there. Could be on his way to um, could be on his way to Napoli. I'm not sure if that will be a loan or a permanent move, but his wages are a stumbling block. So we'll right. have to wait and see what happens there with with about just over a month left of the transfer the, window. Uh, the Mangala to City has that deal gone through? It hasn't gone through yet. There was um, City weren't happy about some um, leaked footage of him dis- talking. Um, to their to their media about the move. Again, City are reluctant to talk, talk about this because F- Fernando as well has joined from from FC Porto. These were the two players they wanted in January, but they didn't quite get through. He's spoken to Manchester City. He's been shown around the city. It's just a case of them getting that deal over the line. I think they're confident of doing it, but we'll have to wait. Again, it's another one where. Clubs are so, so reluctant now to talk about these deals until you see the player hmm. with the shirt and his squad number there. As far as you're concerned, Sam, you know, you, you just can't wait for the season to start. There's not a problem, is there? There's been one or two things said in the papers, leaked out, and as far as you're concerned, you're